Good afternoon. My name is Craig Bradford, and I am the principal of the Senior Extension Program. On behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our virtual graduation ceremony for the 2020 school year. Thank you to all the families and friends who are here to watch and to celebrate this momentous achievement. I would also like to thank and recognize all the SCOE teachers and support staff that work so hard with these graduates to make this day possible. To begin our ceremony, we would like to invite the SCOE graduating class to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will the audience please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools, David W. Gordon, to the podium to share a few words with you. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be with you all, even if it's virtually. High school graduation is a big moment in anyone's life, and I'm thrilled to share this event with you. Graduates, this has been an especially challenging year for everyone, and especially for all of you. The COVID-19 restrictions meant you had to complete high school at home, away from your teachers, away from your schools, and away from your friends. We all know that's been hard. I know you wanted to celebrate with your classmates, your teachers, and with your families, together in one room with everyone cheering you on. And we regret not being able to give that to you this year. This is a virtual celebration, but the pride we feel for every one of you is very real. We recognize how hard you've worked to reach your goal and earn your diploma. Graduation is an important step in your life journey, but remember this is just one and only one of many milestones you will reach during your lives. Through SCOE, we hope you found the direction you needed to reach this first milestone. You had extra support, mentoring, career development, and training, an entire team of teachers and staff rooting you on every step of the way. I want to especially thank our outstanding Board of Education for their support of all of our students throughout this school year. I also want to thank our valued partners, Sacramento County Probation, the Sheriff's Department, and the many nonprofits that provided you with support. We work closely with all of them, and I know they are so proud of you as well. Graduates, always remember no one succeeds alone. You had a lot of help. So please remember to thank your teachers and school staff who have been so supportive. Send them some emails or notes in the regular mail. Try to include photos of you and your families. I know your teachers and other staff would appreciate that. And most of all, please remember to thank your family members and friends who stood by you every step of the way. They believed in you and continue to believe in you, and they're very proud of you. They admire you, and they admire your, your refusal to quit, and they admire your determination. Graduating from high school shows how capable you are of reaching your goals when you commit yourselves to them. But please, please don't stop there now. Please make a promise to yourselves and to your families. Commit to the fact that your learning will not stop with high school. What about a two-year degree or certificate from a community college? What about a four-year degree from a CSU or a UC? What about a trade apprenticeship? Your options are limitless if you stretch yourself and set ambitious goals, and most of all, continue to work hard. Like us all, you've made mistakes along the way and hopefully you've learned from them. But please understand that your biggest mistake isn't in a few failures. It's in failing to pick yourself up, learn from your mistakes, and take on the challenges ahead of you. Some people ask, in life, what is more important, good luck or hard work? In my experience, 
The harder I worked, the luckier I got. So, graduates, keep working hard. Just look at how hard you had to work to complete this school year alone and to complete your high school education. Hard work and further education are the keys to a bright future. So step up, step out, and continue to make us all proud. And now it's my pleasure to introduce some very special guest speakers. Hi, my name is Shane Logan. I'm a professor of sociology here at Sacramento City College, and I also co-run the Reemerging Scholars program on campus. Now this is a program that's specifically dedicated for individuals that are coming from difficult backgrounds. Some of those difficult backgrounds can even include former incarceration. But regardless of the background, we bring those students onto campus and help integrate them back into society and put them on a trajectory for future success. And I feel so fortunate to be able to talk to you today on your graduation because these are such interesting times that we find ourselves. You know, experts say that we're currently in the midst of a pandemic, the likes of which we haven't seen in more than 100 years. And the negative impact of that pandemic is an economic depression that we haven't seen since 1929. These same experts say that the prolonged negative effects of this pandemic will persist and specifically impact young individuals like yourselves for decades to come. These same individuals though, they don't seem to have an understanding of what kind of individuals we're working with. The grit and determination that gets built in these difficult situations is something that will determine your future success. I come from a similar background of having a difficult time graduating from high school. I spent years on academic probation and my graduation from high school was not a, uh, a given by any means. And instead, I was able to take those difficult situations in which I found myself and develop character and develop grit and to, to develop that determination that helped get me through subsequent difficult situations. And so in this period of pandemics and murder hornets and fires and all of the other horrific things that 2020 has brought us, survival in itself is a merit badge. But the fact that you're not only surviving, you're thriving and achieving and graduating from high school, which is no easy feat. I think that that is absolutely amazing and a testament to the character that you yourself have built. And so on this day of your graduation, I just encourage you to whatever that next step is in your life to attack it. Don't be victims of your circumstance. Don't sit by and let these same experts tell you what you're capable of. Instead, attack your future. And if that future includes college, I encourage you to reach out. I encourage you to come to campus when we actually have a campus to come to and let me show you around. Let me tell you more about college. Let me give you some insights from somebody who had a similar kind of background. And so on this day of your graduation, let me just say congratulations. This is truly an amazing accomplishment in a very difficult year. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Everyone here at Sacramento County Office of Education is so proud of you. I can't wait to see all the exciting things that you accomplish. And please do not hesitate to reach out or come by and say hi and let us know how you're doing. We are always here to help. Good luck and we hope to see you soon. Congratulations to our final class of 2020 graduates. I'm so proud of your accomplishment. And as we celebrate you today, I hope you're equally proud of yourselves. You chose to finish this uh, milestone in your life and the determination and perseverance that you had to muster is the same thing that's gonna carry you through life. I'm so uh, pleased to congratulate you today. And I just wanna remind you that we Continue to be here for you as you move forward on your path to success. Hello graduates, it's Mrs. McTie from Cordova Lane. I'm sad that we won't be able to celebrate together in person. However, I wanted to take this moment to acknowledge all of your hard work and congratulate you all on earning your high school diploma. You graduate during a global pandemic, which means you are no stranger to adversity. When I think of you all, a word comes to mind, resilience. Many, if not all of you, 
have been able to bounce back from difficult experiences. However, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. But don't let the successes stop here. Set new goals, keep learning, keep trying, and continue to believe in yourselves. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you for that inspirational message. It is my pleasure to invite to the podium SCOE graduate Dolores Grayson to share a few words. Good evening, friends, families, teachers, and staff. I would like to say thank you for having me be the speaker for the class of 2020. I must say, writing this speech makes me feel honored because I've completed something I thought I was never going to accomplish in life. Now I can believe that I'm really out of high school. My high school experience was a good and fun experience, and my lessons are learned. My days of being in high school were fun, the dances were lit, the rallies were lit, our teachers were the best, and they really worked with you. Those days are all fun and will be missed. Getting pregnant and being a single mother and doing everything, trying to finish school wasn't hard, but not so easy either. Once I had my son, I was more busy than anything. I was going to school, working at Amazon, 5 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Looking for babysitters and being a mother, trying to find someone to watch your kid when the dad is not around is hard because you don't trust everyone to watch your kid. Luckily, I have family who will watch him while I finish school. My experience at Gerber was real cool. My teachers were awesome. They really worked with me. When I was behind work at Kennedy, I caught up quick with the class at Gerber. If anybody was behind work at any school, I would say go to go to Gerber to save yourself from saying forget this. Because if I was at Kennedy, I probably would have dropped out by now. I do have to say, for this class, we really been through crap due to the shutdown and everybody getting COVID. I would like to give a big thanks to Miss Milling for working with me during these hard times and helping me and pushing me. I also want to thank you for helping me with my work when I was pregnant and I wish you nothing but the best. If I could have you as my teacher for college, I would. And remember, time don't wait on nobody. Thank you, Dolores. I would now like to invite SCOE graduate, Celestia Hernandez, to share a few words. Good afternoon, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank Superintendent Gordon, members of the board, the principal, Mr. Bradford, and the senior extension staff who made this all possible. Before senior extension, I attended Rio Americano and Maraloma High School. During my year at Rio Americano, I struggled with class assignments and I oftentimes didn't understand my homework. I would go to teachers and classmates for help, but I often felt like I was a burden on them. I wanted to be successful, but without the support, I began to doubt my abilities. After a difficult first year, I transferred to Maraloma High School, and for the first time, I finally felt comfortable at a school. Unfortunately, this all changed when I began to face obstacles in my personal life. At the time, I was personally dealing with passing of close family members, my family almost being evicted, and attempting to repair a relationship with my mother. After my father's passing, my mother became a single mother of three, and it broke my heart to grow up watching her work up to 18 hours a day, earning minimum wage, only, only to struggle to make ends meet. Watching my mother work day and night inspired me to become something in life so that I could one day turn around and provide for her. In order to continue working, I had to find a school that would work with me and work with my schedule. My sister had heard of the program called Senior Extension and suggested that I look into it. At, the fir at first, I doubted the idea of Senior Extension. Would I be able to focus at school while working? Despite my doubts, I ended up enrolling in the Senior Extension program in 2018. It was the best decision I could have made because I don't know if I would be here today if I hadn't. I met Mr. Bimo, Ms. C, and Gabe at Eleanor Lincoln Hickey. And thanks to the support, I actually looked forward to school and found myself dreaming of graduation. Right off the bat, I appreciate the program's flexibility and willingness to work with students' schedules. When I enrolled, I was working two jobs up to 16 hours a day, and they were understanding about it. They went above and beyond to have work ready for me despite my busy schedule. If I wasn't able to make it to school, they'd come to me to drop off, pick up, any work I had done, even if it was just one piece of paper. Thanks to them, I am here a high school graduate of the class of 2020. However, their work hasn't stopped with me graduating. They also helped me open a new chapter in life 
one I thought I'd never open. College. Just the thought of college made me nervous, mainly because I had no idea what I wanted to major in, let alone how to fill out a college or financial aid application. Thankfully, Gabe was there and to support and guide me through the application process. He introduced me to the staff at Sac City College so that if I ever felt lost, I would know who to reach out to with my questions. If I'm being honest, I don't know that I would have signed up at all if I hadn't received that support. Thanks to this amazing experience, I recommended my mother to enroll my brother, and now he has a higher possibility of graduating on time. So Juan, if you are seeing this, stop slacking and get to work. Personally, I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Mr. Bimo and Gabe for everything you've done and continue doing for my family and I. Coming from immigrant parents that came to the country with nothing to becoming the first one to ever graduate in the family, your kindness, help, and motivation means so much to me. To my mother, mommy, gracias por todo y te quiero. And to my sister, you had to grow up at such a young age, and I thank you for that. Thank you for helping my mother out with my brother and throughout everything. You truly are a second mother to me. Miriam, I love you too. To my pops, thank you for always looking down at me, my angel. I did this for you guys, and I promise I continue to make you proud. In parting, i like to congratulate to the class of 2020 Here's to a new chapter in our lives. Ease up on yourself. Have some compassion for yourself as well as for others. There's no such thing as perfection and life is not a race. Thank you. Thank you, Celestia. I would now like to invite SCOE graduate Valerie Smalls to share a few words. Class of 2020, you did it. Graduation is finally here. The year of 2020 has been a year of great expectations. In past generations, they dreamt of flying cars, living on other planets, and ice cream that never melts. Well, we have different dots. I guess that's close enough. 2020 has been a trying year, but then you still overcame the obstacles mm -hmm. and graduated. We all have our own roads, and they all led to success. No matter if the high school years were not traditional for you, you stuck through it and you graduated. I am proud of you. I am proud of us. The generation that will change the future is here. Continue your education and continue to grow. Know that all of us invite you with pride and joy. Genuine happiness to see us all succeed was shown here with the Gerber, Gerber Senior Extension Program. I am happy that all of my peers that are graduating with me today persevere through all of life's obstacles. I know that many of you guys have challenges and different things going on at home and that going to school every day seemed obsolete, but you did it and I am proud of you. I am Valerie Smalls, a senior graduating today with Gerber High School and my fellow classmates. A couple things that I would think of to keep me going through my senior year, and I would like to share that with you today. The famous poet, writer, woman, <laughs> Maya Angelou once said, all storms run out of rain. And for me, what this meant was whatever I'm going through today, Whatever is keeping me down today will be gone tomorrow. And our favorite little redhead orphan would say, the sun will come out tomorrow. And me, being a Californian, it was always true. The sun will come out tomorrow. I am proud of you, and I am proud of us. Thank you, Valerie. We will now begin the presentation of certificates. Sandesh Adhikari. Natalie Alvarez, Ejon Andrews, Trevor Aragon, 
Paul Boa, Jessica Brooks, Jerome Butler, Dimitri Cadwell Lee, Kevin Campos, Angel Cardenas, John Carter, Joshua Castanellos, Daniel Castro, Julia Castro, Rama Dewara, Nicholas Douglas, Jose Camacho Esquivel, Jose Galvan Gonzalez, Andrew Evans, Dolores Grayson, Dejan Haney, Celestia Hernandez, Belinda James, Zelimac James, Jelani King, Minerva Krop, Christopher Luckett, Angelique Lumentut, Melia Mays, John McDaniel, Jamario McLemore, Dylan Milburn, Sharuk Narazi, Carlos Arona, Octavio Orozco, Zitali Ortega, Eric Ortiz, Donnell Pearson, Analicia Perez, Jasmine Hope, Patrick Rayford, Roberto Salazar, Amont Salter, Valerie Smalls, Kevin Trejo, Stephanie Vasquez, Daniel Vaughn, Cody View, Natalie Wood. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Assistant Superintendent Dr. Perry and Board Trustee President Joanna Ahola for the closing of the ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. At your home, will you please stand? It's time for the turning of the tassel ceremony that signifies your growth from a candidate for graduation to a graduate. Starting with the tassel on the right, please move your tassel to the left. To conclude the ceremony, I will ask Sacramento County Board of Education President Joanna Hola to accept the class. President Ahola, I assure you that I have reviewed the accomplishments of each student in today's ceremony and that each individual has completed the requirements to earn a California high school diploma. I ask that you accept this group into the class of 2020. Dr. Perry, before I officially accept this class of 2020, I would like to just say a, a couple of things, a few words. 
I wanted to say congratulations to all of the graduates. I know that this year has been incredibly challenging, yet you persevered and you continue to do your work and that work paid off and you are now graduating and receiving your diploma. I'm so proud of all of you, congratulations to you. And so on behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education and the Sacramento Board of Education, I'd like to formally accept this class of 2020. Congratulations to all of you.